Have you ever noticed ants going about their day? These tiny insects have an amazing social structure. They may seem disorganized, but their lives are guided by a complex and efficient system. The secret to their success? Casts. This cast system is what allows ants to be so good at their daily tasks. Casts are specialized groups that have specific jobs inside the ant hill. Each cast has a clearly defined role, from the workers to the soldiers, the drones, and the queen. Imagine a clock. Every gear is unique and important for it to work properly. In the same way, each ant has a specific job that contributes to the well-being of the whole colony. This is how castes work in an ant hill. Worker ants, for example, are responsible for finding food, taking care of the young, and keeping the nest clean. This division of labor makes them super efficient. By having specific tasks, each ant can specialize and become an expert in its role. Each ant is born with a defined job, which ensures that the colony functions well and survives. From the moment they are born, ants are destined to fulfill a specific function. From the queen, who is in charge of having offspring, to the workers, who look for food and build the nest. Each caste has a fundamental role. The queen is the mother of all the ants in the colony, and her main function is to reproduce. The evolution of this caste system shows how efficient and adaptable they are. Ants have developed this organization over millions of years, which has allowed them to adapt to almost any environment. Ants have conquered almost the entire planet and much of their success is due to this social organization. From the driest deserts to the tropical rainforests, ants have found ways to thrive. Later on, we'll take a closer look at each of these casts and how they help make the ant hill successful. We'll explore how each group of ants contributes to the harmonious functioning of the colony and how their cooperation is key to their survival. At the center of every ant colony, we find the queen. She is the heart and soul of the colony. <laughs>
ants are the laborers of the ant hill, the ones who make it possible for the colony to function non-stop. These females do not have offspring and are responsible for all the important tasks that allow the group to survive, from the construction and maintenance of the nest to the search for food and the care of the larvae. Their life is to work and they do what the colony needs. The younger worker ants usually stay in the nest taking care of the eggs and larvae while the older ones go outside to look for food. Communication between worker ants is essential to coordinate tasks. Through chemical signals and touch, they inform each other about where there is food, if there is danger, or if they need help. This efficient communication is the basis of the success of ants as a society. In many species of ants, there is a caste dedicated to defense the soldiers. These ants are an essential part of the ant hill's social structure and their existence ensures the survival of the colony in an environment full of dangers. These ants, usually larger than the workers and with strong mandibles, are responsible for protecting the colony from intruders and enemies. Their size and strength allow them to face threats that worker ants could not handle, and their presence is an effective deterrent against potential attackers. Their role is fundamental for the ant hill to survive, as they face predators, defend the territory from other colonies, and even participate in wars against other ant hills. These battles can be intense and prolonged, and the soldiers must always be prepared to fight with courage and determination. The soldiers are willing to give their lives for the colony, demonstrating incredible loyalty and the spirit of sacrifice. Their bravery and dedication are a testament to the strong sense of community and cooperation that characterizes ants. The existence of soldiers is a clear example of specialization within the caste. Each caste has a specific role to play and the soldiers are the tireless warriors who protect their companions and the queen. Their bodies and behavior are adapted for fighting and defense, allowing them to fulfill their function efficiently. The mandibles of the soldiers are powerful tools that can inflict considerable damage to enemies, and their natural aggressiveness makes them formidable defenders. Finally, let's talk about the drone ants. Drone ants are male ants whose sole purpose is to mate with the queen ant. They do not have the ability to sting and have no other responsibilities within the colony. The queen ant produces drone ants in large numbers during the mating season. Once the drone ants have mated with the queen ant, they die shortly after. In conclusion, ants are one of the most successful insects on earth, having been around for over 140 million years. Their success is attributed to their extraordinary social behavior with a clear reproductive division of labor.